The man himself, Mike Tirico, joins us now from Ann Arbor, Michigan. He, of course, the host of NBC's primetime Olympic coverage, as I believe was supposed to be getting ready for an opening ceremonies tomorrow. Of course, we know things changed a few months ago. Mike, thanks for talking to us. We, uh, we appreciate it. Give us an idea. Thank I, you. I, a year from now, um, I, I feel like yeah. this world, this country is going to need an Olympic Games for the, for the unity that only the Olympic Games can, can bring. Is Tokyo going to be ready for an Olympic Games in a year? Yeah, Ben, I, I think you're right. There's a lot of hope and optimism, uh, which we don't have enough of right now, I think, to get us mentally through each day. But in our sports world, you know, baseball starting with opening day, basketball's getting going, the NHL on NBC comes back next week. So maybe there is reason for optimism and hope. And on the Olympics perspective, they've done a monumental thing. They have taken the logistical hurdle of the Olympics and moved it one year. And that's just not refreshing a date in your calendar. That is getting every sport around the world that competes in the Olympics, we're talking 40 plus, that's getting the Olympic Village, that is getting all the venues all set to do it again one year later. So the logistical part has been handled, the mental and emotional part has been handled. The thing we don't know is we have no idea what's gonna happen with the virus, uh, locally, nationally, globally. So that is really gonna determine what happens. But I think from a perspective of being ready, Tokyo will be. Do you think there's a chance they would hold the games just without any fans? I think it's possible. You know, could you have ever imagined that we'd be talking about baseball season being played without fans, the NFL with limited to no fans in some places, the NBA all playing in one place? That was unthinkable. If I said that to you on March 1st, you would have laughed me off the, t off the screen here. So anything is possible. It doesn't look like we'd see the Olympics be pushed back again. It looks like it's either 2021 or not at all. That's not for certain, but it looks that way. If that's the case, and the only way to do that is with limited or no fans, my gut, this is not fact, this is not speaking off of direct knowledge, but my gut is they would go down that road before they canceled the games altogether. Uh, you know more than most people. I mean, you talk to these athletes. Uh, you get a sense of where their mind's at in something like this. They spend their entire life, and maybe they get to go to one Olympics, if they're lucky, too, if, if they're a real right. oddity three. But maybe they get to go to one Olympics and, and succeed, and they plan it down to the day, week, month, and then they get thrown off by, by, by this decision. Right. I, it happens to me that I think this could behoove some of the athletes who are less well known. But then what are some of the big names that you think could be hurt by this delay? This was their year. Yeah, Ben, you know, that, that's what I was thinking early on. Like, are there athletes who, because of age or injury, might be impacted? And some of them might be. And it's the big name athletes who we're familiar with, uh, a Tiger Woods who would love to compete in golf and have a chance to win an Olympic gold medal to go with his resume that has everything else in golf. And it's probably his last chance to do it. Uh, Roger Federer, as we know, he stepped away from tennis as he continues to deal with injury. He wanted to be ready for the Olympic Games. As Serena Williams gets older, will she be ready for the Olympic Games in a new calendar year in tennis? So those big names may have been the most impacted, but it's the other athletes as well, you know, the swimmers who are trying that last chance to make the Olympic team. Or on the other side of the coin, what about the athlete who was 18 years old and physically this close but not ready to get that extra half second? And now they are, and they'll have a chance. So I think the composition of the Olympic team will be similar, but certainly not exactly what it was going to be. And the athletes who've taken the time and used it to their advantage, rest, change their preparation, get more mentally tuned in, those are the ones who will thrive once we get to Tokyo, and those are the ones who are going to make the team to get on the plane to go to Tokyo. And we will see how it all plays out in exactly one year's time. Mike Trico, thank you. We appreciate it. Thanks for taking time. Thank you so much.